The time I've been in ministry, I've learned that life is with us and life can go. You can hold a spiritual life. But there is a time that reaches and you feel like you, don't, you no longer feel it. I've listened to people. People clearly know that even in businesses there is life. You ask someone, what happened to your business? The business died. Even cars died. And you say a car now is spoiled. Now a machine that doesn't have life. What, what is it from it? My garden is dead. My stomach is dead. A plan is now corrupt and dead. I had hope, but my hope is dead. The Lord, the God we believe in, in whatever you call yours and life dwells within it. Amen. He can restore life into it. Let someone raise his hand in the air. And surely you want the Lord to come back and restore the life of the things in your father. The Lord, the God of Israel. The Lord of our Lord Jesus Christ. You are the Lord, the God of Elijah. We call back life to be restored in all our possessions. Speak, Lord, I call upon life to be restored. In Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord restore life in the children. May the Lord restore life in your marriage. May the Lord restore life in your plans. Brethren, a corpse can make you lose, can, can take away your peace. Let it be it where your closest friend. First of all, it's scary. It, it comes with a lot of terror. It does not convert. It's, it's Ruled by the law of rotting. But if we come back to God, what you see as a corpse to you, the Lord, the God of life, will visit it with power than the earthly power. Will touch it with his touch. Brethren, our God is the spring of life. Whoever holds him gives life as well.